Example 161 Tech. Using the model, what would the average attractiveness score be for a 45-inch chest and a 32-inch waist, which produces a waist-to-chest ratio of 0 0.71? Alright, so if we take a look at the coefficients that are provided in this output, we can actually form our model pretty simply. So the constant is basically the y-intercept. So remember, the model has this structure. It's y hat is equal to beta 1 hat times x plus beta naught hat. And from here, if you want to fill in these details, remember the one with the little subscript of 0 here is actually the constant in the Minitab display. Or in other words, it's the y-intercept, right? So we're going to plug that number in in that location. And then the slope is basically this beta 1 hat value. That's the estimator of the slope. And that estimate is going to be the one that represents our variable. So in this case, it's WCR, or waist to chest ratio. Remember, we're going to be plugging in a waist to chest ratio into x and trying to predict a corresponding y. So the slope in the mini tab display, or the computer output, typically has the name of the measurements that will be going in for x, right? So in other words, it will have the name of the measurements that represent the independent random variable. All right, let's go ahead and plug the numbers in then. So beta 1 hat is basically going to be here negative 15.00x, or just negative 15x, plus the y-intercept, which is 16.62. All right, so there's our model. And if we want to use our model, all we have to do then is to plug this waist to chest ratio in for x in the model. So that will be y hat is equal to negative 15 times 0.71 plus 16.62. So we'll have minus 15 times 0.71 plus 16.62. And the answer is 5.97. So our y hat is 5.97. So what that represents is the average attractiveness score for someone with those dimensions. So that's not the attractiveness score given to an individual with that waist to chest ratio. What that actually represents is the average score that all women theoretically would give to men who have that waist to chest ratio. So some women would rate that higher, some would rate it lower, but approximately the average would be about 5.97. That's what the model is telling us.